everyone welcome back to the channel today we're going to watch all of the myriad celestia trailers for the first time i've been actively avoiding these trailers for quite a while now because i'm still playing the game but i can say i'm at a point of the game where i can afford watching these now so buckle up because we have 12 videos we have to get through let's get right into it so the first trailer is called the Japella rebellion scene 47. kafka Oh. Stellaron Hunter. Kafka? How do you plead? Hmm? The crimes you have committed are beyond pardon, but the Chapella Brotherhood respects every individual's entitlement to the afterlife. Admit your guilt and embrace your punishment. Uh, I'm listening. How oh. do the Stellaron Hunters plead Is that to a the fear? following accusations? What? Wait. You breached the premises of the Atuin Universal Auction, manipulated the guests, decimated the artistic treasures under the gaze of a devout audience, inflicted monetary damage amounting to over 860 billion credits, and absconded God with the damn, auction Kafka. <laughs> How do you plead? Guilty as charged, but not a devout audience. You infiltrated the cyber prison of Inuka. Uh, there's more? Stole the Sigma Rod to deactivate the firewall, allowing a flood of data demons to enter reality, consequently propelling the world toward a judgment day, all in order to take the meta code. How do you plead? I admit it, but those data demons deserve oh. a taste of freedom. I love her attitude you so much. The ring world Golconda disseminated the philosophy. She doesn't give a crap across all colonies, causing 46 million inorganic entities to turn into rampant machines, and stole the steel core from Golconda's point of gravitational equilibrium. Holy shit, man, slow world. down. How do you plead? Oh, sounds like oh. a page out of the Japella Brotherhood's playbook. But sure, we took the thing. Oh. The Trovis disappearance. The lore 51 stellar on event. Why are they animals? Against planet Skrula, the beer point incursion. And so on. A total of 46 criminal cases. Do 46? You admit all these malicious God incidents damn, were girl. the work of the stellar on hunters? She busy. <laughs> if you ask me, it seems like the Annihilation Gang has their fingers in quite a few of these pies. But I confess, it seems you forgot one though. Oh, the Japella Rebellion. Huh? What? Oh, what did she do? Of course, of course, she escapes. I mean, it is Kafka. You should really stop playing with your food, Kafka. Who's that? He looks cool. I know. Next time. Ooh. This time? Wait. It's already too late. I know these people. That's Blade. And that's Silver Wolf. And a cat. Aw. Who's that, though? Oh my god. I swear to god, the Stellaron Hunters are the coolest characters in this game. Goddamn. Goddamn Kafka. I mean, she's so goddamn cool. What can I say? I love her. I love her. So this next one is called Fables About the Stars, Part 1. Let's make an exchange, shall we? Uh, an exchange sure. of memories. Uh, I dream maybe not. of a ray of light, of a crystal chalice. The light that shone from that crystal spoke to me. Listen to the parable of the stars. Uh huh. Wh who's the talking? The one, the pathless one, arrived from the edge of the wilderness, clad in stellar radiance. Mm -hmm. Go now, march unwaveringly into solar wind. At the end, you will return to my embrace, but march oh. towards the light. The destruction? Nanook? Yet the eon the light began to burn, piercing we through know the him. clouds as a golden death. Towers crumbled, and the people fled, for the sun was soon to set He's cool. and meet with vicious destruction. The hunt be not dismayed, O oh child of the world. The Lux arrow will descend to purge the wicked abominations. 
You must follow the traces left behind in the storm's wake. Their addition? Oh, we're just she's just the mentioning Celestial all of the their secrets. The eons, I guess. The roots that connect all things. But they are silent, like a shroud of mist at the center of the universe. Listen to the silence, and you will know where the stars are resting. Uh huh? Let your abundance strike the earth, they say. Once and again. Oh, that's some long tender fingernails, will man. to the sky, and the dew that falls from their branches will rid you of sickness and poison. Looks sick as well. Blindfold your eyes, they say. That the approaching the darkness may strike no fear in you. Let it not burden your soul, nor numb your stride. Oh, it got small eyes. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> the majestic gates, they the say, preservation. And lift up the tablets of lapis. Read them aloud. Let the fire that forged the bricks and the ones that laid the walls foundations be known. The harmony? Then, oh. they say, Oh, you who have reached the end, enter into the paradise that envelops all. Join in this great choir The best peace. looking Eon right there. Listen to the beating of billions upon billions of hearts. Holding you in their embrace. Look upon the quarters and the elation. The mariners and temperance. Veracity? Listen to the infant in the mirror. The, the wings beauty. As they enter the, the propagation. The tipping of the balance. Uh, the, the equilibrium is going too fast. <laughs> and finally, measure the world against yourself. And take all such oh, things the to Astral heart. Astral Express, let's go. This is the path <laughs> you should walk, they say. Lucky Billy, depart once more. Lucky Billy. Oh my god, why is she? <gasps> oh my god. Countless what shooting was her name? stars streak the Black sky Swan? tonight. Oh. Should you choose the right one? Oh, she looks so good. It will carry your wish to thousands of distant worlds. Cool. So a little bit, little bit of lore about the eons. Mm? So the next one is called History of the Xianzhou, Seven Arbiter Generals. I regret to admit it, but the Xianzhou have very few legends. For what room is there to create legends among those who do not die? But there is one distant legend that can still be recounted. The story of the Cloud Knight Generals. Okay. It began 8,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. Story time. When the time. emperor of an ancient kingdom yearned for both legacy and immortality, he sent our Sienjo ancestors into the astral seas. And through the boundless stellar reaches sailed, great ships in isolation softly veiled. <laughs> it rhymes. Cute. <laughs> After voyaging 2,000 years, the ships discovered traces of the divine. Isn't that the abundance? The uh, plagues often yeah. revealed themselves. I think it is. And offered an immeasurable lifespan. But the blessing was a curse. Oh no. Those who exceeded their lifespan became the deathless doom. Oh. Oh, the Mara and struck. Thus the Alliance's long and Oof. peaceful years were lost in that sickness, was a mistake. treachery, <laughs> blood, oh, and man. tears. At the very precipice of the Sienjo's existence, the Rainbow Arbiter descended and redeemed the crumbling Alliance. The hunt. For the next 5,000 years, the Alliance voyaged the vast cosmos, purifying the universe under divine mandate. Heading the six ships were the vanguards of the hunt, the seven Arbiter Generals. Behold at the Marshal's side, six Generals of renown. Uh-huh. 
fierce and swift is Fei Xiao, the Merlin's claw. Okay. What? Strong and righteous is Hua Yen, the flaming heart. I haven't heard these name be names before. Cautious and sophisticated is Yao Guang, the seer strategist. Uh huh. Interesting. Mighty and powerful is Xuan Quan, the Seish Queller. Mysterious and fair is Yo Wu, the Patina Justice. Wise and brave is Jing Yuan, oh. the Divine Foresight. We know that guy. The Seven Arbiter Generals wield <laughs> extraordinary powers. Intelligent the others, and visionary then? Jing Yuan of the Law Fu is admired by friends and feared by foes. With skillful sleight of hand, the trap was set. The Borsal Sun, the Lightning Lord. Crushing it is so cool, honestly. One of the coolest animations. Eh, our general! An army must be of one heart and mind. Yay. More skillful sleight of hand is little use. The Cloud Knights entrusted their lives to me. I shall not fail them. Glory to the Shenzhou! Glory to the Cloud Knights! Glory to the Shenzhou! Glory to the Cloud Knights! The hunt is with us! <laughs> Quite the story, Master Gongshu. Gongshu? I'm really bad at names, so I probably have met a lot of these characters, but I just re don't remember their names. And this one is called History of the Xianzhou, Exodus of the Five Dragons. I have traversed great lengths seeking a piece of history. The history of long the permanence. I too know little of the progenitor of all dragons. Before the dawn of history, Long traversed the burgeoning chaos, seeking the answer I love to existence. And on that path, the revelation of the permanence was unraveled. Then came our emergence, us long scions. I visited Liaris, a world encircled by five suns. The giant dragon sat overseeing the turning of day and night, the change of seasons, sheltering the lives within. Could the revelation of the permanent signify the timeless nature of one's greatness? The relentless pursuit of individual immortality will only breed an unending multitude of malevolent creatures. Such is the fallacy of the plague's author. So then does the permanence represent the continuance of bloodline? I also journey to the ancestral home of the Infernalian people, in the land of white embers. The undead dragon Typhon's breath showered flames on the land below. Bringing forth a flourishing thing. Long scions are dispersed throughout countless Ooh. worlds, living in solitude. Tom the vastness of Maybe? the universe, the rise and fall of one race is of little consequence. It is said that the Vidyatara formed an alliance with the Xianzhou, and that five elders descended upon the mortal realm to keep watch over the plague mobs. Perhaps the permanence is the noble ambition that ensures the safety of the universe. <sighs> Alas, Imbibitor Lune forsook his oath, causing a state of great disorder. The High Elders, too, bear mortal frailties, their heavy burdens ultimately becoming the shackles which bind them. From your perspective, what does the Permanence's revelation truly signify? As the sun and moon rise and fall, the world undergoes continuous change. So uh -huh. the concept of stability is meaningless. Only by comprehending and aligning with the way of the world can one's path lead to everlasting existence. Countless new creations emerge when one dragon meets its end among the morning stars. For the Vidyatara, this is the true teaching of the permanence. Within the Damn, cycle this is of deep. life, any endpoint may mark the inception of a oh, new journey. Oh, it is Dan Fang. And for him, oh, it's so it cool. is no different. 
even though he's uh, done stuff <laughs> that he shouldn't have done. Thank you, I'm okay, okay, I see you. I, f I find the whole Vidyatara thing, like the whole lore in the Cien show is just so intriguing and so exciting, honestly. It's one of the best ones. And the next one is called Cloud Knight's Martial Doctrine on Swords. Traveling with you has stirred up my curiosity. Ooh. What drove you to pick up the sword at such a young age? Well, I suppose there's no harm in telling you. At oh, first, is that Yan Ching? General and stories about the previous sword champion. Someone he told me about her unparalleled skills, her unmatched prowess with a single blade. It inspired me that one day I could earn the title oh, myself. Oh, she looks cool. So, it was the allure of renown. Our voice. I also wanted to live up to the general's expectations and repay him for the gift of his teachings. Oh. Where would I be without him? Then you wish to forge deeper ties. Oh yeah, I remember it's her. More than that. One day I'll run into battle from the my animation short. The Lofu, and Think so. Down those who threaten us, putting my abilities to their rightful use. <laughs> In the end, it all comes back to fealty. Oh, her voice is so alluring. What's with all the questions, miss? Why did you choose the path of the sword? Wow. I too was once shackled by fame and fortune, impeded by bonds and loyalty. But in the end, the sword moves beyond oh. such notions. Where is this going? For the sword is just a sword, an instrument determining life and death. Nothing can tarnish its essence. Only when you've walked the fiery trail Ice? and cut through every impediment can you understand oh, the damn. purpose behind every swing of your sword. Well, uh, it's getting dark. <gasps> oh, did he? Do you understand? Did he just go? <laughs> future sword champion. I wield the sword oh. to vanquish my enemies. She's beautiful. What the hell? <laughs> and now our battle begins. Wait, are they gonna? F Is she gonna fight a little boy? What do you mean? <gasps> Damn, she looks gorgeous. What? I can't wait to meet her in the game. I really like the storytelling in these trailers so far. This one is called Interastral Peace Tour Selection, Planning, and Opportunity. Hey there, you! Yes, you! Me? Wait for you. The gem filled with endless potential! Hold on to your hats! The IBC's gem identification system will ensure that each and every talent you possess will be harnessed for intergalactic peace. Do you have oh. the thrill of adventure coursing through your veins? If so, uh, yeah. our marketing development department is rolling out the red carpet just for you. With the nameless Oswaldo Schneider leading the way, a vast number of new worlds will soon be a part of our expansive credit system. If you're someone who values structure and logic, our business consolidation department offers the perfect stage for you to shine. With uh -huh. products twinkling like a million stars. This department has created a spectacular trade network that's measured in light years. Heard of hyperdistant delivery assistance to synesthesia beacons? No. Who was once science fiction is now reality. Proudly it's, produced What by is the he trying to sell me right now? That's nothing short of genius. Look no further. Our technology department is waiting for you. Join us and team up with the intelligentsia again. When the glitters of fortune and title dim before the luminous path of the Amber Lord, know that the, the building material logistics department is the sanctuary for the most ardent of followers. Become the cornerstone of our operations. Every show you place with precision plays a pivotal role, for it will form the backbone of our formidable subspace barrier. If you're someone whose qualities go beyond the ordinary, unyielding in the harshest of storms, this message is for you. At the strategic investment department, talent Ooh. is the most precious investment of all. A DJ? Origin, <laughs> background, <laughs> Wait, what? Diamond seeks out the unique and the extraordinary. Those who sit at the table will determine where the wealth pours. The talent motivation department is just another division. It's oh my god, AI is taking over, guys. Top talent <laughs> deserves top first. And that's why the talent motivation department was established. 
Every task as you undertake serves as the pioneering spark that sets Beer Point's passion ablaze. For those seasoned in their craft and still holding on to cherished dreams, our operations are as everlasting as the sway of ocean tides along the shore. Witness the traditional project department's great supervisor, Arena, ready to capture the treasures the tide unveils. Uh-huh. Take the leap, join our ranks, and climb to unparalleled heights. Shape the destinies of myriad worlds, and make the history of the galaxy your very own footnote. The mighty Ooh. hammer of the Amber Lord has struck. A realm of endless opportunities beckons. We're waiting for you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> All for the M Amber Lord. I don't know what I just watched or who that was, but whoever that was, he seems pretty cool to me. The next one is called An Exorcism at the Firestroll Garden. When the Xianzhou people roamed the galaxy, they inevitably made strange beings. It's a lot about the Xianzhou, so I've lots noticed. Of spooky stories start with these encounters. Oh no, not spooky stories. No. On one such occasion, a new Ten Lords Commission judge received a decree ordering her to subdue a demon. Excuse me? Oh, who is that? Oh. Where are your manners? Ew! What the hell? Oh, uh, poor girl. <laughs> uh. Huh? A compass? Uh, it can't be. Uh, what? You. <gasps> the new one. Ooh. Ew. Why are they scaring her like that? Oh. Careful. Oh, she's cute. Are you okay? Let me help you up. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cute. What the hell? Knock, knock. The door isn't gonna knock. hold much longer. Uh. Knock, knock. The door's coming down. Uh, run away. Run away. Get up. Wait. <laughs> You asked for a spooky tale to grow some guts, didn't you? This is what you faced on your first day. Why are you shaking in your boots? <laughs> the hell is this? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's enough courage training for today. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think you're going? It ain't over yet. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was cute. Who was that? I don't even know who that was, but I want to find out. So this next one is called Transcendent Ruined Tunes Blushing May Blooms. A Ruined May? What? Mother, your letters are always welcome. The plum blossoms bloom and wither. And I <gasps> it is Ruan May! Oh my god, I love her I so much. Again, thinking back to the research in my childhood. The most Together beautiful character in the whole game. Land. That comfy cabin, teeming with boundlessly joyous forms of life. Those days are unforgettable. I understood the vastness of the universe too early. I was different than every other kid oh, around me. Leo. The backstory of her. Ooh. Birth, growth, death. Lamenting the process of life is the order. She was pretty as a child as well. Oh. I began to realize that I longed for something pure. Attachment involves the insular portal. God damn girl. Mm. Which controls anxiety and pain. <laughs> She looks fine. Can be easily broken down. Children will become more well behaved when they receive random rewards. When I discovered how easy it was to cultivate a planet, I began to feel oh. empty. <laughs> oh. I increasingly understand that I long for more fundamental research. Recently, I've had some different thoughts. Why are you such a headache? At first, so I was terrified of her parents. 
It is born of wonder, does not resist, and does not grieve. It is the closest thing to the feeling I had when I was a child. Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh! It asked me, where does the research end? Oh, this Life is, is so, so pretty. Colorful, but it has nothing to do with me. I Ooh. explore the mysteries of the universe and seek wow. deeper answers. I have nothing to lose and nothing to gain. If life is cultivated and reproduced, you can dissect remembrance, control equilibrium, deconstruct beauty, and reproduce permanence. I will understand life and touch on these conceptions. And perhaps I too can become an evil. Become what? What? Wait, 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 wait. Is she looking at my gameplay right now? Oh. <laughs> what is this? Worry not, my dear assistant. <laughs> I will reward you. Ooh. Oh, that was such a good trailer. I wonder what she meant when she said she wanted to become something. Interesting. So this one is called A Night of Everflame, scene 33. Penacone, oh. planet of festivities. Penacone. A cradle drowning in dreams, a haven for the cowardly. The family has summoned guests for its grand celebration. The golden blood Ooh. will flow from the destruction as an offering to them. Children of the flame, this marks your rite of passage. A gosh, I lit the fire in your eyes and showed you music of the strings. Serenade the sun. What is going on? And hush the harmony into muted awe. It will be done, Father. Oh, what's going on? Dura, I set your former light and taught you mastery of the blade. Uh, that's not a normal apple. Temper that doesn't how it look. Made the elation and let the performer's blood and tears pour into the abyss. As you wish, Father. Who's talking? Who are these people? Katarina, I Katarina? a flame in your heart and granted you blood of fire. Use your wrath to shatter the preservation sanctum and build their gold to create a statue of our savior. You got it, old man. What the hell is... Constance at last. My most ambitious and exceptional child. There is nothing more to teach you. Just remember, without Pelicone's midnight hour, strip away all they hold dear and leave naught but the remembrance Ooh, of school. <laughs> oh, she won't be necessary. The big reveal. I oh, take them alone. <gasps> God damn. Goddamn! A little pessimism might be wise. Ooh, what if we who are you? Since when have those on the path of destruction feared death? Okay. Still, it is wise to plan ahead, Father. Oh! What the hell? What is our fallback if things become perilous? Fall back? Such a thing does not exist. Who are these characters? Destruction is brave and heroic. They're so Quick cool. To life is to delay in cowardice. Relish Penacone, savor its invitation. Prepare this beautiful dream to welcome its new master from Fedora. God if damn! Duke Inferno, ever flame mansion. Huh? Who are these people? I want to know more. God damn! I didn't even know these characters existed un up until now. This one is called A Revisiting of Past Dreams.
a dazzling item. Are you looking for a oh, black swan again? <gasps> oh, she's so gorgeous! Wow. To divine, using your oh. memories as a medium. These trailers are getting better and better. Oh wow! Beautiful. What? What is this? What? Hey, groovy song. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Like this? Oh my god, the animation! <gasps> oh, that's so cool! Ah, oh, this looks so good! Oh, she looks so cool though. Oh, she looks so good. Oh, okay, Mona Lisa. Faceless people. What was that, Acheron? The truth does not lie. Neither do memories. Oh, how she looks so gorgeous. Oh no. What? Predestined paths have already converged. She has arrived. She? Has anyone found a makeup here? <laughs> Thank you. I was looking for it for so long. <sighs> that menacing infernal fire absorbed by the vast, profound sea. And that sea surprisingly dwells on. On what? The planet of festivities. The planet of festivities. Man, I have no idea what's going on, but that place looked amazing. That was so good. What the hell? The animation in this trailer specifically was gorgeous. What? <laughs> I really like this one. This next one is called Sparkle Behind the Curtain. I wonder if it has anything to do with Sparkle. <gasps> <laughs> oh, cute. It doesn't matter who I am off stage. Oh. Sparkle's so pretty. All the audience needs to know. Yes, that when I'm on stage. What? I'm. Just Wait, is she a performer? I didn't even know My that. Beloved mask. When I'm happy, you're smiling too. When I'm angry, you're still smiling. Oh, she's so cute. When I'm sad, you keep on smiling. You're like a veil that I can hide under. Damn. The one wearing the veil, that sparkle. She's so pretty. My beloved mask. When I'm happy, you're smiling too. Why is she talking about her mask when so I'm much? Angry, you're screaming too. When I'm sad, you're crying too. You're like a mirror showing my reflection. The one in the mirror that sparkle. Oh. It's oh. you, my beloved mask. What the hell is going when on? Happy, you're screaming. Um, when I'm angry, you're crying. She's losing her mind. When I'm sad, you're smiling. You're like a face staring at me. Uh, I, I'm not Sparkle. 
No. I am Sparkle. Yes? So, when I realized life was just a play, I wanted to leave the stage. Because off stage, oh. there's an even bigger stage. What do you say? <laughs> Who's the real Sparkle? <gasps> what? what? It started so wholesome and cute and then she lost her mind. What the hell? Sparkle is like one of those characters I'm really interested in knowing more about. There must be something more deep to her character than just being crazy. So this is the last trailer as of now. As far as I know, there's no more than this. Um, this is the latest one they've made and it is called Kyoden, a cleave across the transient world. Do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Oh no. Because in times past, when the Yao Yorozu no Kami descended here, they wrought death and disaster on this world and its people. Oh. To save the world, he's splintered 70,033 oh. blades <gasps> and forged them into the 12 sentinels. The first was truth, forged by the Sovereign of Revelation. Oh, it could teach mortals the way of the law and create miracles from the deconstruction of all things. The second was sky, forged by the eternal zenith. It could form a barrier from the firmament and prevent the innumerable gods of misery from passing through. The third was Howl, able to summon lightning to rend the heavens and meteors to rain down divine Jesus. Punishment. The fourth was Mist, able to break earth and tear cloud with biting wind and rain. The fifth was Frost, freezing the land in an instant. The sixth was fate, the restless cycle of life and death. Then there was flare, thought, root, form, bind, maw. With those sentinels, we seized on tomorrow's expectation, winning victory after victory until all of them until? were broken. <gasps> oh no, how? The price of every victory was a world in its entirety. Who is this girl? End, that entirety was lost. And so Izumo splintered twelve sentinels and forged them into two bearers. The first was origin. The second was end. The world mm. forged seventy thousand and forty seven oh. things, and only one could save Izumo. But you and I both know the road to salvation does not exist. There is no trace of tomorrow. Resisting the Kamigami, Ew, you what the will eventually become Oni. What the hell? We pawned everything more for the destruction of two worlds. In times past. Ooh. Let's go. Takamagahara, upon which Get the their ass. <laughs> surely as beautiful as Izumo. So. Oh, that's badass. Do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Because of a lie. An end that never existed. We long since strode into their shadow. Each step forward, one that we can never walk. Until the last oh. blade is forged. Oh, that was cool. What the? Was that her tear? Not. Not. Huh? She lost the horns. I knew this world was fleeting. And yet, and yet. Um. I 
I don't even know what to say to that. These trailers are very lore heavy, which makes it a little bit hard for me to understand as a person who hasn't finished the whole story yet. But the animation combined with their storytelling in these trailers kind of makes the immersion so much better. And even though I don't completely understand everything, I am still 100% into it. So that was all of the Myriad Celestia trailers. Some of them were really, really good. Some of them were actually so cool and I will probably watch them over again when I'm finished with the story. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe down below. Follow me on Twitch as well, twitch.tv forward slash where I play this game live. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.